wings of wonder, vibrant with the vivid hues of the rainbow, painted with an exotic array of colors, soft and angelic, a bejeweled world of patterns, my beloved butterfly, my childhood yearning of seeking you out amidst flowers and thickets hasn't waned at all. To have you around me all the time, I've clothed my courtyard with lush greenery. This Greenland of mine is beginning to nurture your new generations. providing you with food and shelter. Your life cycle seems to turn round here by a process full of mystery. Today, nature is excited to embrace you to its fold with open arms. Your tender touch ushers a sense of fulfillment to nature. Long back, I had fondly defined you with certain names and glory of your resplendence. For your moon-like splendor that gleam in our granny's tales, I called you Junali, meaning glittering moon. Your wings are lustrous as pearls, your Mukutarani the queen of pearls, an embellishment of green leaves. You are Pathoni, the adorned leaf. Wings a glitter with red jewels. You are Dalima Pokila, the ruby butterfly. A large butterfly with captivating charm. You are Loni, the sylph. Huoni, the pretty. Moyuri, the peacock, and Mohini Pokila, the enchantress. Airborne as if to touch the sky, you are Akahi, the sky flyer, Hun Paki, the golden wings. So merry and lively with endless joy, you are Rangdhali Pokila, the jolly butterfly. With wings of sparkling red, your Henguli, the vermilion, Botahi, the breezy, Jetuki, the henna, Kajoli, the smoky, Hunguti, golden bead, Shyamuli, the verdant. The world of tiny butterflies is embellished with varied colors. These are Tiliki Pokila, meaning Weenie Butterfly, Neel Tiliki, the Weenie Blue, Pudoki Tiliki, the Wee Spotty, Pakuri Tiliki, the Wee Patchy, Hunali Tiliki, the Weenie Gold, Najal Tiliki, the Weenie Tailfin, Sondra Tiliki, the Weenie Crescent, and many more. Afloat in the air are my endearing Lahibaki, the weary wings, and Bogitora, the ivory star. With multi-hued wings are Pakuri, the patchy, Mati Pakuri, the patchy brown, Sitori, the pied wings, Mugi Pakuri, the patchy ochre, Tenguli, the twigs, Matisokuri, the earthen ring, wings a flutter, fleshy with charm and grace. You seem to belong to the butterfly family. I call you Osina Pokila, the outlandish butterfly. At that time, I had known that you already had names. But the names that I had given you years before are still very dear to my heart. 
time and tide have stiffened my heart. Today, I remain indifferent to your woes and agony. I know your foes very well. I know they do need to struggle for their survival, just like you do. This is nothing but a process of energy transmission among living beings through the consumption of food. Without such a process, nature, perhaps, would come to a standstill. Begi Pokhila, that is, speedy butterflies with short little wings. Amongst them too are Begi Putuki, the speedy spotty, the golden, Mugi, the ochre, Pakhori, the patchy, and many more. Their swift pace, however, hasn't been able to assure them enough of security. For your painted wings, I named you Sitra Pokila, meaning ornate butterfly. Just as this age-worn Sitra, all varieties of butterflies gradually lose the beauty of their wings. They offer their decrepit bodies at last to the course of nature. With spotted bodies and wings, there are varied types of Puduki Pokila, the spotty butterfly. Beside the reclining swarm of Mugi Puduki Pokila, the ochre spotted butterflies, an aged Podra Pokila, the genteel butterfly, too, has settled upon the same tree to spend the night. But on this very night, she meets her end. And her lifeless body now lies upon the grass, mourned by none. Meanwhile, the vital remains of her body have already been taken away. I preserve her wings carefully with the hope of seeing her wings fly again. Scores of butterflies somehow manage to survive through the hostilities of their foes. Portions of the wings of some are split or torn away, but still are able to fly. Some seem to be physically sound, but the loss of portions of their wings leaves them flightless. These are a few instances for which I have taken recourse to the preservation of wings of dead butterflies. The coloured layers of scales of the wings cannot withstand even the tender touch of the human finger. Oh my dear bright-eyed Rupohi, the pretty butterfly, using the preserved wings of the dead Hodra Pukhila, I've been able to transplant a portion of it on yours. You may not regain your swiftness, but my endeavour is to bring back a bit of your lost ability to fly. As in the case of the Nila Putuki Pokila or the blue spotted butterfly, merely by pasting strips of paper to their wings, I've enabled many butterflies to fly. Oh my dear Padra, keep your faith in me. I'll apply my entire concentration and experience to make you fly once again. In my stock of wings, I've found for you the wings of a Sonsola Pokila, the fickle butterfly. Sonsola Pokila is extremely restless. Perhaps I've been able to give you back the most significant time of your life. From these very eggs shall emerge your new generation. Our much adorned nature shall remain graceful evermore.